great to meet you. It's good to see you here. For the purpose of getting to know each other, I'd like to briefly introduce myself. You can call me Chao, 13 years old. I was born in Mokcho, Sala province. I studied at Somatao Secondary School. I'm studying at class 81. My favorite things include reading books and researching foreign languages. In the future, I hope to give back the society by being a responsible English teacher. Uh, in the talk to Dong Nhat Nam project, or more specifically, is talking to you, I'll ask you several questions. First, this question I gained from my mom. She said, I sometimes lost concentration while studying, but I can change my habit. So, I ask you if you have any way to practice concentration. In the next question, I gotta say that should I be subjective with my work when I know I have the ability to do it? I regularly feel contemptuous or subjective whenever I doing something like a piece of cake. Please ensure my question. The last one, how to get the best study results? I haven't got any methods about study arrangement or preparation, so my result always in average. Do you have any method to improve my studying? You will ensure, will you? Those are my questions I always wonder. Thank you for listening to my talk. I hope you can tell me the answer. Bye! See ya! Hi, Bao Cho. Thank you so much for your great question. And I think that like staying focused and paying attention while studying is something that is really difficult for a lot of people, including me. I think that, you know, it's very common to get distracted while you're studying, to get bored, like while you're doing your work. Uh, and that's OK. Uh, but I think that the best way in order to help you learn how to be focused and pay attention while studying is to split up your studying into multiple sections. So say you're learning math or you're studying for your math test or something. You can study for the test for 40 minutes and then take a 20 minute break. Uh, do whatever you want, like hang out, like have fun and then come back and work for another 40 minutes and make sure that those sections where you're studying, you're really focused and you're really trying to get the work done so that you can have your 20 minute break. I think that that strategy. Um, it's called the Pomodoro method actually. It's something that works really well for me. Um, otherwise, I think um, another way to stay focused um, is just to make sure that like you're being on task. Uh, have, you always have a good plan uh, before you start a study session. Like before, let's say, studying for an, uh, an English exam, know exactly what you're going to do that day. Have a bullet point list of every single item that you're going to study and then cross them off as you go. If you have a list of things that you want to accomplish before you study, then that will keep you on task and that will make sure that you'll finish all of those tasks uh, in a reasonable amount of time. I hope that those uh, tactics were helpful for you and I hope that you have uh, you know, good luck studying. Uh, thank you for your question.